Okay, dear students, let us see what is there in this question. Monochromatic light is incident on four rectangular parallel slits. The first principal maxis, maximum is observed at an angle theta to the direction of the incident light. The number of slits is increased to eight, each having the same width and the spacing as the first four. So neither the spacing changes nor the width of the slit changes, only that uh, more number of slits have been created. Three statements about the first principal maximum with eight slits are the angle at which it is observed is now greater than theta. Its intensity increases, its width decreases. Which statements are correct? My dear students, this is a very important question. And the only thing is that you must understand uh, the conditions like uh, what is actually happening in this question. Now, Try to see this. I'm going to draw a diagram there. Let us say there are four slits. somewhat like this okay and so um, there, there there is a diffraction as well as interference both are taking place simultaneously so I'm going to create a diffraction pattern first and now I'm going to create the <clears throat> interference pattern so uh, not that very perfect but uh, interference pattern would be somewhat looking like this Isn't it? So it is kind of uh, modulated with the diffraction. Yeah. Like this. Okay. So what happens now is that we are going to add, you see, there are two things here. One is uh, the D. D is small d is the distance between the slits. And B is the width of the slit. B is the width of the slit. Neither the B is changing nor the D is changing. So if I ask you about this angle, this angle theta, which talks about the width, the angular width of the central uh, maxima of uh, diffraction pattern, that would be given by lambda divided by b. And if I ask you about this y, this distance, this would be given by lambda capital D divided by b. Now, neither the b is changing, nor wavelength is changing, nor capital D is changing. So nothing is changing here. And uh, similarly, if we talk about the interference also, in interference, the theta is known as, it's given by uh, this. Even now, neither the D is changing nor the lambda is changing. So even now, the angle is not changing. Like you have increased the number of slits. One, two, three, four. This was five. This was six. And then another slit is here added seven. And another slit is added here eight. So you are going to add slits like that, but the D is same and B is also having the constant value. So neither theta changes for diffraction nor the theta changes for interference. There is no change. Neither the um, spacing, like uh, the distance of the uh, of this from the center line changes, even that does not change. So what is actually happening? Number one, the intensity is increasing. Like number one is like the theta is not changing. So first option is wrong. And the second is intensity increases. Intensity is definitely increasing. Why? Because earlier there were only four slits, but now there are eight. So eight slits are giving more energy at one single point. They're focusing more energy now. So obviously uh, that uh, uh, the intensity is now more. So intensity is uh, directly proportional to n square in these kind of uh, um, questions. So now there are eight. So the intensity becomes 64 times the earlier intensity, uh, the um, initial like the original intensity. Earlier it was 16i, now it is 64i. It is directly to n square. And also the width. What is happening about the width now? Instead of width, like what happens is these things, they become really, really very thin. It becomes like this. They become sharper. And then there are secondary maximas and then this, and then secondary maximas, then this. Number of secondary maxima is always n minus 2, but they have not asked it. And so um, the width decreases. Yes, the width of the slit has decreased because the intensity has become 64 times the original intensity. So that is why it will become thinner. There will be more number of secondary maximas now, but these secondary maximas does not matter. And hence for us, the answer will be 2 and 3. And in the mark scheme, yes, the answer given is C. So this is the explanation for this question, my dear students. You can ask doubts in the comment section. All the best. Bye.